All right, here's a discussion on doc stamps. Now, when we talk about doc stamps, remember that we're really talking about three different taxes. The acronym that we use to describe this is the taxes are a sin. A sin because nobody likes to pay them. One of the questions that sometimes comes up on a test is who pays which of these taxes? An easy way to remember that is the S is paid by the seller. Just match up the two S's here, S's in seller. And the I and the N, the intangible and the note tax, are paid by whoever's moving into the property. Well, who moves into the property? The answer is the buyer. So if you're asked who pays which tax, that's just an easy way to remember them. Let's talk for a minute about the amounts of these taxes. The S is the state documentary stamp tax on the deed. It's paid on the actual sales price. And the amount is 0 0.70 or 70 cents per $100 or fraction thereof. We'll get back to the fractions thereof as we get into the questions. The intangible tax is paid on new mortgages and the rate is two mills, which is 0 0.002 times the new mortgage amount. The note tax, the rate is 0.35 or 35 cents per hundred dollars or fraction thereof, and that is paid on new or assumed notes. If you have any question that deals with a uh, uh, property that's purchased subject to a mortgage, then there would be no new note created. Therefore, there would be no, no note taxes on that. Let's take a look at a question here. It says you're reviewing a closing disclosure and you note that the documentary stamp tax on the deed was $2,800. The stamp tax on the promissory note was $1,120. And the question is, what is the loan to value ratio in this transaction? Well, you know, in order to calculate a loan to value ratio that you need to know the loan amount and you need to know the sales price or appraised value. They didn't give you either of these in this question or did they? They actually did. What they did is they gave you the amount of the state doc stamp tax on the deed and the amount of the mortgage, uh, the note tax, which is paid on the mortgage. Once you figure those two out, or once you, you work through some calculations backwards, you can figure out what the sales price was, what the note amount was, and then you use those two numbers to calculate the loan to value ratio. Let's take a look at the math on this. The sales price times 70 cents would give you the, the amount of the doc stamps. So in this case, you just reverse it, 2,800 divided by 70 cents, and then multiply by 100 would give you the sales price. So in your calculator, you would just put $2,800, the amount of the doc stamp tax, divided by 0 0.70, 70 cents per 100, and then multiply by 100, or add two zeros, whichever you prefer, and the sales price is $400,000. You do the same thing with the note tax. You know that the mortgage times, the mortgage amount times, 35 cents divided by 100 would give you the note tax. So you just simply take the note tax and divide by 35 cents and then multiply by 100. And in this case, the amount of the loan is $320,000. The question didn't ask you for the sales price and the loan amount. The question asked you, what is the loan to value ratio? So you would simply take the loan amount divided by the sales price, which is 320 divided by 400. Again, formula for loan to value ratio and that is 80% or 0.8. Next question dealing with doc stamps says that a property sold for $310,010. Seems like the only time we ever see these is on exam questions. If you see a question like this with a sales price that looks like this, be very cautious with this $10. That's where you're gonna have two answers that come very close and you need to make sure you're picking the correct answer. Says the buyer assumed the balance of the seller's loan of $250,000 and received a purchase money mortgage or new mortgage in the amount of $10,000 from the seller. Question says, what are the total state documentary stamp taxes on the deed? And I'm gonna stop you here again, as you've seen several times in this video, I want you to make sure when you're answering the question that you're answering the correct question. Even though they told you about the assumption and they told you about the new purchase money mortgage and all those kind of things, the question is asking you, what is the state documentary stamp tax on the deed? In other words, in order to answer this question, you only need to perform one calculation. Let's go and do that. $310,010 divided by 100 equals $3,100.10. Remember the rate is 70 cents per $100 or fraction thereof. Remember I said to watch out for these sales prices with $10 or $20 or something? That's a little trick that's thrown into the question. 
Make sure in this case that you round up this portion. So what you're going to end up with is 3,101 times 70 cents. That will give you $2,170.70, which is the state tax stamp tax on the deed. And you've now answered that question, even though there's a bunch of information in the question that you didn't need. Let's take this one step further. We've talked about taxes being a sin. In this particular case, it says that the sales price was 280,210, subject to a mortgage of 220, assume mortgage of 20,260, and a purchase money mortgage of 10,520. If we did this, you would take this. Again, I'm just giving you an example of how this would work where you had to calculate all the taxes. 280,210 divided by 100 times 70. You would round up just like we did in the previous question would now be 2803. Your stamp tax on the deed would be 1962.10. Going over to the intangible tax, if there was a new mortgage here of 10,520, you would just multiply by two mills and the stamp tax, or I'm sorry, the intangible tax would be $21 and four cents. Then we go down to the note tax. Well, let's take a look. You've got an assumed mortgage of 2260, which is gonna have a new note. The purchase money mortgage would have a new note, so you've got two. 10,520 is a purchase money mortgage divided by 100 times 35. Don't forget to round up, so it's 106 times 35 would equal 37.10. And then on the assumed mortgage, you also need to round up because of the 260, ends up being, instead of 202, ends up being 203 times 35 or 7105. So if the question here asked you what are the total taxes due, then you would have to add all these together. Be careful again of the previous scenario where we gave you, we gave you a whole bunch of information, but only asked you for the state doc stamp tax on the deed. Think of this, they could ask you here for the state doc stamp tax on the deed. They could ask you for the intangible tax. They could ask you for the tax due on the note on the new mortgage. They could ask you for the tax due on the assumption. They could ask you for all the note taxes due, or they could ask you for all the taxes. Each of those is an individual separate question, so make sure you're answering the question that you are asked. Okay, one more duck stamp tax question before we finish up this section. This question says a vacant parcel of land is located in the northeast quarter of the southwest quarter of the Northwest Quarter, of the Southwest Quarter, of Section 17, Township 18 South, Range 4 West. It says the land is selling for $15 per square foot, and the question is calculate the state dock stamp tax on the deed. This is an example of what the state refers to as an application-oriented question. Essentially what you're doing here is you're combining several different concepts together in order to answer this. So what we need to do is figure out how big this property is, multiply that by the price per square foot, to calculate the actual sales price to then be able to calculate what the actual dock stamp tax on the deed is. Once you figure out what you're doing here, it's really not that complicated. You know all the components. It's just figuring out step by step what you need to do in order to solve this problem. So let's go. We know that in order to figure out the number of acres, we need to take the section, which is 640 acres, and we just divide by our bottom numbers. Again, doesn't matter if you go forward or backward through this just divide by your bottom numbers. So 640 divided by four, just put it in your calculator, hit the divided sign, divided by four, divided by four, divided by four, divided by four again, that will give you two and a half acres. Well, you know that an acre is 43,560 square feet. And remember the little acronym for that, just in case you've forgotten, is four and three is seven, five and six is 11. So the acronym for the number of square feet or the memory aid for the number of square feet in an acre is 711. Two and a half times 43,560 times $15 per square foot gives us a sales price of $1,633,500. We then multiply that sales price, we'll divide that list, uh, by 100 here to find out our number of units, then multiply, there's no rounding up because these are zeros. Another way that some of you may have learned it is instead of dividing by 100 in your calculator, just cover up or cross off your zeros. That works as well. Whichever way works for you is fine with me. So you end up with 16335 times 0 0.70. Multiply those and your answer is $11,434.50 in dock stamp tax on the deed.